Hi everyone, this is Miss Ashley at San Marcos Public Library, and I've got another puppet show for you today. This one is a very special Christmas puppet show. Christmas is coming, and all of the fairy tale characters here at the library are thinking about Christmas. They're thinking about decorations and presents and visiting their family for the holidays. In our puppet story today, Little Red Riding Hood is on her way to visit her granny and she's taking some of her extra special Christmas cookies. Isn't that kind? However, there are other creatures in the forest that might also need a little bit of kindness. So let's watch this story called Little Red Riding Hood's Christmas Cookies. I hope you enjoy the show. One cold and frosty Christmas Eve, Little Red Riding Hood's mother baked some Christmas cookies. She put the cookies in a basket and sent Little Red Riding Hood off through the forest to take them to Grandma's house. It's so cold in the forest today. It's a good thing I have my red wool cape to keep me warm. Ow, ow, ow. Uh-oh. I'd better watch out for that wolf. Little Red Riding Hood set off quickly through the forest. I hear someone coming. I hope it's not the wolf. Eek! Eek! Oh, help! What's wrong, little mouse? The forest is cold and covered in snow. I can't find anything to eat, and I'm so hungry. Poor thing. Would you like a cookie? I have plenty. I can spare one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. Nom, 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 nom. I'm full now. And Little Red Riding Hood continued on her way to Grandma's house. I hear another animal. Maybe it's the wolf. <laughs> Boo hoo. What's wrong, raccoon? I can't sniff out anything to eat under all this snow. You must be very hungry. Here, have a cookie. Nom nom nom! Delicious! Oh, thank you. I feel much better now. And Little Red Riding Hood continued on her way to Grandma's house. Here comes someone else. Do you think it's the wolf this time? Ka 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 It's a crow. Why aren't you flying, Mr. Crow? I'm too hungry. I don't have the strength left to fly. You can have some of my cookies. Maybe they'll help. Do you feel strong enough to fly now? Oh yes, thank you. What a nice girl! Gah! Gah! And Little Red Riding Hood continued on her way to Grandma's house. I hear growling. Yikes! It looks like a bear is coming this way. He sounds angry. Should I hide? I'm not angry. That's my stomach growling. I guess I didn't eat enough before going to sleep for the winter, because I woke up with a hollow tummy and now I can't find anything to eat. Oh dear, you don't eat little girls, do you? Of course not, but I do smell some cookies. I love cookies. Phew! You may have as many as you like. <laughs> I'm afraid I've eaten them all, but I feel so much better now. That's all right. An empty basket is easier to carry. And Little Red Riding Hood continued on her way to Grandma's house. Just then, the wolf appeared. Oh, oh, oh! 
What have you got in the basket, little girl? n n nothing Oh, come on. You must have some cookies or cakes in there. I'm starving. Give it here. The wolf looked into the basket and found that it was, in fact, empty. He howled with disappointment. Oh, 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 man, no goodies for Christmas. I'm sorry, I haven't got any cookies left, Mr. Wolf. You have no idea how hard it is being a wolf alone in the forest on Christmas Eve. Nobody cares. Nobody gives me any presents. That's not true, Mr. Wolf. I brought you a present. Really? For me? What is it? Here it is, a beautiful red bow with a bell on it. Wow! My very first Christmas present. I can't believe it. Let me try it on. Oh, oh! Look at me. Don't I look handsome now? <laughs> yes, Mr. Wolf, you look very festive. Wait until the other animals see this. They'll be so impressed. No one else in the forest looks this fancy. Oh, oh! Merry Christmas, Mr. Wolf. And now I'll be able to hear whenever he's coming by the bell. But I'd better get to Granny's house. It's getting late. I wish I still had cookies to give her. So Little Red Riding Hood finally made it to her grandmother's house. Hello, my dear. I'm so glad you made it. Merry Christmas, Granny. Burr, what a cold day. I was looking out my window for you. I saw a mouse, a raccoon, a crow, and a bear go by, and then a wolf with a big red bow and a bell on it. I meant to bring you some Christmas cookies, but I'm afraid I gave them all away. Never mind, my dear. The best Christmas present is a visit from you. Let's go inside, warm up by the fire, and we'll bake a new batch of cookies. What a good idea, Granny, and Merry Christmas to everyone. <laughs> <laughs>